You know, William Shakespeare penned the phrase, to thine own self be true. So you are out of order when you're out of integrity with yourself. Order starts with the individual. This is why the U.S. Constitution starts with we the people. The health of an organization or a country is reflected first by its people. If the people are not realizing or having an opportunity to realize their full human potential, then the seeds of chaos will begin to be planted and grow. The authority structure has been established to fulfill that ultimate purpose. The grief to happiness ratio shows where citizens of a country, an organization, company, or family are based on the fulfillment of that purpose. In any part and aspect of life, if we're not realizing our purpose or at least having a shot at it, then we begin to get uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable will eventually lead to a decision to do something different or to surrender and violate the first principle of being true to ourselves. Disappointment, delusion, and disgust will leave us vulnerable to look outside of ourselves and give up. Looking outside of ourselves surrenders responsibility in every area of our lives. It's not my fault becomes the mantra. These are the words of a sold out people group. Unfortunately, you find it in too many families and organizations in the United States today. It's the language of the surrendered and the dependent who fundamentally want to go back to the period before this country declared its independence when most areas of their lives were controlled by England. But Americans long to be free, setting the stage for the first American Revolution, when a ragtag army of farmers with the least of weaponry took on the most powerful military on the planet at the time. These early citizens understood that freedom came with a price, and they were more than willing to give it all, including their lives, to be free and to see their children be free. The question before us this day, is it time to exercise that remedy with a second American revolution? Our government has become the imperialistic giant that once enslaved the colonies. Our bloated government has been absorbing our hard-earned resources to support their interests, not ours. Is it time for we the people to remember the seeds of our beginnings and revolt to get our country back on track? Imagine 10, 20, 40 years of the entitled trajectory that we're presently on. Where will America be then? The battle is raging for the heart and soul of this once great nation. It's time to reclaim what is rightfully ours. This is a war that we did not start, but it is a war that we must engage in before it's too late. It really is time for we the people to take back our government away from the big government, big brother types that see us no longer as the land of the free and the home of the brave. Are you ready, America?